Welcome back. In this video session, I'm going to teach you about the Alaska State Plain Coordinate System. And it's similar to the UTM coordinate system for zones two through nine. So basically, it's a cylinder on its side, which is a transverse Mercator projection. And then at the central meridian, the scale factor is the worst possible scale factor. And in this case, it's going to be a scale factor of 0.9999. And the reason why is we're only going to deal with zones that are four degrees wide instead of zones that are six degrees wide in the UTM coordinate system. So we can get even better accuracy with the state plane coordinate system using just four degree wide zones. And at the central meridian, the scale factor is 0.9999. And as we go left and right of that scale factor, it approaches 1.0. And since this is an Alaska state plane coordinate system, the latitude of the origin or where the y value will be zero will be at a latitude of 54 degrees north. So zones two through nine are very similar to the UTM coordinate system. Okay, zone 10 is similar to the Alaska Albers coordinate system in that it uses a cone. So it's specific for the Aleutian Islands. So basically, we're going to have a cone that sort of touches close to the Aleutian Islands. So it touches the globe at the first standard parallel of 51.833 degrees and the second standard parallel 53.833 degrees. So basically, it's touching the globe close to the Aleutian Islands. And then at negative 176 degrees is where the x value will be uh, arbitrary value of a million. And then at the latitude of 51 degrees, we have a y value of zero. So that's zone 10. And then the last zone is for uh, So Southeast Alaska Zone 1, it's essentially a cylinder that's obliquely flipped. So here we've got our cylinder, and it's going to touch the globe in this location here. So basically, it's going to touch the globe going along sort of the axis of Southeast Alaska. So that's that angle, the azimuth of negative 36 degrees. So that's Zone 1. Okay, the only other thing that's kind of strange about the, UT, uh, the state plane coordinate system is it's typically used by local governments and surveyors, so sometimes it's used in feet rather than in meters. Here's an example from the Fairbanks North Star Borough uh, GIS. It's the water bodies inside the borough, and if we look at the layer properties, it is a state plane coordinate system zone three. In zone three, the central meridian is negative 146 degrees. And at that central meridian, the scale factor is 0.9999. So at 54 degrees north, Y has a value of zero meters. So if you're north of 54 degrees, you're increasing, you're getting further and further away from the equator. And at the central meridian of negative 146, it has an arbitrary x value of 500,000 meters. And this would be the same value expressed in feet. So sometimes the xy coordinates are in feet, and sometimes they're in meters, depending upon what agency has the GIS data. So the unit for this Fairbanks North Star Borough uh, data set is in U.S. feet. Okay, so that's the state plane coordinate system, and it's typically used by surveyors and uh, borough governments. So agencies that manage land that typically is less than four degrees in width because the zone is four degrees wide, as opposed to the UTM coordinate system where the zone is six degrees wide. 